I'm wondering, like, how you deal, what you would suggest the conversation be to people in your life who are like, I don't need a first dose, it only protects me, for either people who are hesitant because they're scared of the technology or they just don't think they need it, and also for people who are scared that not enough is being done with the Delta variant. So I'm just wondering if you can offer some suggestions that we can have with conversations with people in our lives. Yeah, so I think it's really important to, uh, to try and understand why people have concerns. And as you say, it could be they're afraid of the technology. It could be that uh, they've heard of somebody having a bad reaction. They could be they're worried because they've had a reaction to a vaccine in the past. And so really it is about talking about why I got immunized, what was important to me, the things about my experience, and recognizing that you know the vast majority of adults in BC have taken this plunge. And there's lots of good information that people um, can find. I know um, there's a lot of misinformation and, and disinformation, so intentionally negative and wrong information that's spread, particularly on social media. And it's an opportunity to point people in the direction of where there's good, credible information. And I would say as well, you know, the BC CDC website has a really good section on, you know, how do you tell if it's good information and where does it come from and how to talk to people. And the other thing, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier about, uh, you know, talking to your healthcare provider. And physicians are learning a lot about uh, physicians and nurses and nurse practitioners. And we're learning a lot about uh, these vaccines and how they work. And millions and millions of people around the world have successfully and safely been immunized. And I think that's really, really important. And, you know, that's why, that's why I got my vaccine early on, because I had faith that these vaccines vaccines have been well researched, that we knew they were safe, and that it really showed us, um, as we've been watching over these last few months, how well they work, even in people who are older, even in people who have compromised immune systems. So uh, I really think we need, to, we need to take that approach of trying to understand what people's issues are and questions are, and not being adversarial, not starting an argument, because you can never win those things. People aren't going to change their mind um, just because you tell them that, that you need to. What you need to do is just open that, that window of where can you go to get the information that you need and to, to be confident in, in the decision you made to be immunized and to be protected.